hello friends welcome back to my channel and today we are back with another exciting tutorial so I'm I'm excited uh, as along with you to introduce a new series of tutorials so we are going to start a new topic on Microsoft Azure so this will be a Microsoft Azure tutorial for beginners and we will also add up other tutorials on AWS a Google Cloud all those things on the way so I'm going to start the cloud topic with uh, Microsoft Azure so uh, in order to start you know uh, this will be a introductory tutorial so we are not going to do any hands-on or you know to start uh, do the activities on Microsoft Azure but I want to have an introduction like what is cloud computing you know why we use cloud computing what are the benefits and you know, we'll talk about what are the different cloud providers so we'll uh, do the basic introduction in this tutorial then we will move on in each uh, tutorial okay so to start with uh, what is cloud computing so for those who are not uh, aware about what is cloud computing so uh, in a simple term we can say like uh, uh, cloud computing is the delivery of uh, different services through internet right so the cloud means like you know it's a uh, multiple services are connected through uh, the internet so if you want to uh, expand it a little bit more this is a definition by microsoft so cloud computing is the delivery of computing services so the different kind of services which we are going to uh, give it uh, you know through the internet is like uh, servers storage database networking software analytics intelligence and it's it goes on more okay and uh, over the internet so that's the cloud the over the internet is called the cloud to offer faster innovation flexible resources and economic is of scale so you can uh, typically uh, pay only for the cloud service use and in helping your operating costs run your infrastructure more efficiently and scale your business needs by change so that's the definition by microsoft so in the definition itself you know like you know we are talking about uh, giving cloud uh, you know giving computing services uh, you know uh, using these com computing uh, services which are in the cloud and what it uh, it gives us the benefit is like we only for uh, pay for the what, are the what we are using it so we are not going to pay for you know overall infrastructure like what we have it in our you know data center or own uh, infrastructure and you know this will help the organization to reduce their cost and also you know more effectively they can manage the you know infrastructure and so different kind of you know computing uh, providers were from where we can run these resources are like uh, Microsoft Azure or Amazon you know AWS uh, GCP Google Cloud and IBM Digital Oceans you know I know so there are a lot of uh, cloud prov providers and what we are going to do is we are going to only pay for what we use and it's also uh, called as pay as you go so that's a statement we usually will have it in cloud like uh, pay as you go so these are uh, some of the cloud provider we mentioned like uh, Alibaba Cloud is there, Amazon Web Services, Google Cloud Platform, you know VMware, Salesforce, Oracle, Microsoft Azure. So there are uh, different uh, cloud providers which we can use but we are going to start with uh, Microsoft Azure. And some of the you know uh, Microsoft Azure uh, you know, services or resources which we are going to see. So this is not going to just uh, we are not going to stop with these uh, resources i just want to show you like some of the resources in microsoft azure uh, which we can make use of like uh, virtual machines whether it can be windows or linux uh, storages you know uh, it can be managed this for uh, you know uh, or it can be blob storage you know and you can have uh, my, a different kind of databases like mysql cosmos you know you have postgres so different kind of database and also app services kubernetes services virtual network load balances uh, you know uh, and gateways and also uh, data lakes there are more and more you uh, know uh, resources we have it but I just want to show you some sample so uh, but we have tons of uh, you know uh, services uh, and resources available in Microsoft Azure and other uh, you know, plat providers which we will see in the upcoming tutorials okay so before I get into more details I would request you like if you are new to my channel or if you have not subscribed to my channel click on the subscribe button like the video share and comment so let's uh, start uh, more deeper on why we are using uh, cloud computing so you know the traditional way of business is uh, you know uh, we are now changing a big shift from the traditional way to a cloud computing uh, you know business model and you know we are thinking about how to manage the IT resources right so the benefits of using cloud computing is like one of the main thing is cost 
So what cloud computing uh, helps this organization is to eliminate the capital expense. So there is some talk, uh, terms called CapEx and OpEx, which we will see in the upcoming tutorials. But so you can understand from the cost, like, you know, cloud, cloud computing eliminates the capital expense of buying the hardware and software. So if you are, uh, you know, and setting up and running it on the on-site data center. So if you are an organization, if you want to set up your own uh, data center, you need to buy your, you know, server, you need to buy, you know, all your racks, you need to buy your networking. And, you know, you need to set up and, you know, you need to pay for, you know, the infrastructure for it. So that's the cost which you are have to put it before itself if you want to run it. So the cloud eliminates that cost and you pay as you go uh, structure means you only pay for the resources you use like if you are using only like two servers or you know some uh, you know you don't want to have the whole infrastructure maybe I want to have one you know VMware or just an app so you pay only for that so that's the benefit of uh, cloud computing and the next one of the benefit is the speed and performance so the services provider are on demand so like even large amount of computing services can be provisioned in minutes means like you know if you have a huge resource requirement you know you don't have to order it like uh, on site you can e immediately you know you can prov provision in cloud and this computing uh, services run on data center with uh, you know large, largest you know latest generation of fast and efficient computing hardware so means you know these cloud providers will have the latest you know computing services uh, in their data center uh, from where we are procuring or renting these resources so they are you know uh, fast and efficient hardware so we can easily provision them in few minutes so that's the another benefit of using cloud computing so talking more about the other benefits flexibility and scalability so this is what uh, another one of main benefit of using cloud computing like you can scale your services uh, to fit your needs uh, you know cloud infrastructure scales on demand uh, to support your fluctuating workloads so in, in you know you will see this as an example or in upcoming uh, slides so it's a simple example like you know we can easily scale uh, you know your uh, servers or we uh, you know workstations or networks all those things based on your need and you know demand so that's another benefit and you know the reliability is also another benefit of uh, cloud computing means like uh, cloud computing makes your data backup disaster recovery business continuity easier and less expensive because the data are mir mirrored at multiple redundant site so when cloud you know there are different topics like regions zones so all these things we will learn it uh, in the upcoming tutorial but these uh, you know terminology is related about you know how your uh, cloud infrastructure will be you know uh, disaster recover or how how it can easily allow you to have better uh, business continuity and your data is backed up so if you want to have your own infrastructure or data center then you have to build the you know business continuity plan for that so you need to put a lot of investment also on that and another uh, one of benefit is you know efficiency and speed to market so these cloud based applications and data are accessible uh, virtually from anywhere you know a machine which is connected to the internet right so developing these uh, cloud enabled users get their application uh, market quickly so that's another uh, one of uh, main benefit of uh, uh, cloud computing so let's uh, talk about you know um, uh, a scenario like uh, we have uh, you know some users okay uh, let's example we have few users who are accessing a website you know uh, from their home okay so they are accessing a website can be any website maybe you know a shopping portal so let's consider it's a, like a shopping uh, portal where they are logging into the portal and you know they're trying to purchase something okay so what happens on the back end is like uh, the website is running on a server uh, which will be running on our data center in in-house data center where, where it will have few servers and also a database right so that will be our traditional setup so in order to run this application you will have our you know, web server running on our data center and there should be a database and when these user access uh, this website it will connect to these uh, servers databases and they will get the output right so what will happen is there will be you know a usage like uh, sometimes you know the usage is low at some point sometime it go high right and it will go down again so that's how the normal scenarios will be like when we use uh, like a normal uh, data center so let's take this scenario again like you know user is accessing the web portal and we have our uh, you know 
the data centers and what happens is like you know when the usage goes up in order to like you know uh, the, let's consider a scenario like you know uh, there is a uh, uh, you know a offer from the web portal or purchasing uh, where users can get you know a cheap uh, products so there will be a huge number of users who is trying to access that uh, you know a web portal and we will have a overload uh, on our server so in order to uh, manage that uh, we need to add additional servers now we can see we have added additional servers or additional databases uh, in our data center uh, but the uh, problem is like it happens only once in a while like maybe once in uh, six months but in order to manage that you are adding a huge cost on your infrastructure right so that's how then once you add it it will go down your uh, you know, the usage otherwise it will be a huge uh, effect on your performance right so that's what the scenario like if you are having own data center you need to add uh, you know based on your usage requirement you need to uh, put your additional servers and database on your infrastructure which you need to buy and you need to set up right uh, but uh, once you set up mean that will be always there right you you cannot just you know take out uh, you know and you know you can put it back uh, once it, you can do that but you know anyhow it's a cost you already implemented it so that's the cost you already have to put it before you you know buy it now when it's uh, again let's consider this scenario like you know we have this uh, uh, servers and you know we have access now when we consider in a cloud scenario like what will happen is uh, when there is an increase in performance it can automatically scale up the environment you know it will add up new servers it will add up new uh, you know databases based on the performance or workload so the cloud can spin up more you know servers and you know once the usage is gone down it can automatically delete it so you don't need to buy these servers and install it and set up uh, for whole years you know what it will do is it will be you know spin up only when it's required and you need to pay only for what you are using for that period you don't need to pay for the whole infrastructure so that's the benefit of you know uh, scalability and flexibility when it comes to cloud so that's what uh, we were talking like once the usage is completed it can scale down to normal scenario so that's the overall uh, benefit of cloud you can easily scale you can easily manage your workload it's easy to set up so all those things we will uh, see once we do the practical like how we can set up all different kind of resources but this is a basic you know example or introduction i wanted to give you about cloud so i hope i hope uh, you know it's a uh, informative tutorial for you and if you have not subscribed to my channel i would say like uh, please click on the subscribe button also like my videos share and comment and uh, keep watching we are going to add up more and more tutorials on cloud and other new topic like terraform and all those things so i'm hoping you are going to enjoy these tutorials <music>